You're either with us or you're with the enemy. That's, that's clear. I will continue to make that clear. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. You know the thing I'll be great at? That people aren't thinking, but the thing I'll and I do very well at it, military. I am the toughest guy. I, I will rebuild our military. It will be so strong and so powerful and so great. Come on! I have two words for you. Predator drones. You will never see it coming. You think I'm joking? But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it away from the fog of the controversy. As we all know, the war on terror did not end last month when American forces shot and killed Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad. General Clapper, the Director of National Intelligence, wrote to me yesterday to explain that this is a moment of elevated threat to our country and that the intelligence community is working to analyze the information gained at the bin Laden compound. Al-Qaeda and its associate groups remain a threat to the United States. And our intelligence community, military and law enforcement professionals still need the tools that enable them to gather and share intelligence in this fight. So let's make sure. We're, we're scared. Um, we're scared of an Obama presidency. I have to tell you, he is a decent person and a person that you do not have to be scared as president of the United States. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It will be so powerful and so great that we'll never have to use it. Nobody's going to mess with us, folks. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's going to mess with us. Either you're with us, either you love freedom, and with nations which embrace freedom, or you're with the enemy. There's no in-between. That's what the school board to make a part of every day some kind of anti-violence, anti-gun message. Every day, every school, at every level. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. And when they say, I want my lawyer, you tell them, shut up. You're time to get a lawyer. You're an enemy combatant. I can't trust Obama. I, I have read about him. And he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not, no, no, no man, no man. He's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues. And that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. Just one of those days when you don't want to wake up. It's just one of those days. 31 more. 
We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. As uh, the Pope and I were getting ready to exit the building, we found ourselves uh, alone. And uh, the Pope uh, grabbed my left arm and, and uh, said some very kind words to me about uh, my commitment <coughs> to kids and education. And the Pope puts his arm around me and kind of pulls me to him and says, please pray for me. Well, who am I to pray for the Pope? But I did. This is State of Wake featuring Dimitri and Paul. What state?